So Bitcoin is pretty much at all time highs and effectively in price discovery because it's hitting all time highs pretty much every day now. And this time things are a little bit different from the last bull run. And that's what I'm going to talk about today. And I'm going to relate it to what's going to happen with XRP and some of these meme coins, etc. So we're at all time highs, right? We're getting past 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, who knows, 85 by the end of next week, right? So usually for Bitcoin to be at all time highs and to be in price discovery from the last cycles, two things have to have happened. We ought to have had a Bitcoin halving a year before, and we ought to have had the presidential election in the United States haven't happened and the economy be okay, right? So either the economy be healthy or the Fed or anybody has, would have announced plans to improve the economy, be it injection of money into the system, printing more money, whatever. There's got to be a lot of money in the system, a lot of hope in the system and a little bit of stability. And after the halving, then every, everything basically takes off, right? And what usually happens when Bitcoin hits price discovery is that the FOMO kicks in and it starts to cycle down to the other tokens, starting with the large caps, mid caps, small caps, micro caps, blah, blah, blah. But this year, we're just way ahead of schedule such that even though we're now in price discovery, the FOMO hasn't arrived yet. In fact, if you compare what's happening now to what was happening in 2021, the FOMO, the interest, it's not even there. I mean, it's not even close, right? In case you weren't here in 2021, or you've forgotten what happened in 2021, when the euphoria kicked in and Bitcoin was at all-time highs and in price discovery and all the other altcoins started to pump and all these L2s that are announcing all these projects, people were selling their cars. I, I, I kid you not, I know somebody who sold their car to buy some parachain stuff on Polkadot. So we're not talking about buying Bitcoin or Ethereum. We're talking about buying L2s and projects on L2s and people were buying things on like not even the main net. They were buying test net tokens with thousands and thousands of dollars. This is how people throw money at crypto when the euphoria really kicks in. So even right now that we're at all time highs with Bitcoin and in price discovery, None of this stuff has started to happen yet, which kind of makes you imagine what's going to happen next year in 2025 when this madness really begins. What's causing the all-time highs and the high pumps now are two things. First of all, of course, the institutional buy-in and the ETFs. So that's caused Bitcoin to become more scarce than it would probably ordinarily be. The balance on exchanges are dropping really, really fast as institutions are pulling out their coins from the exchanges Whales pulled out their coins off the exchanges ages ago. And even the retail market are starting to get clever and all, also started moving their coins off exchanges, either for self-custody or for staking on some more uh, favorable platform or what have you. So we have scarcity plus high demand for Bitcoin. Fidelity, BlackRock, yada, yada, the list goes on, right? And countries are buying and all these massive whales are also hoarding and the miners have stopped selling. They were selling earlier this year, uh, which is why we saw Bitcoin drop back from the all time highs it made earlier in the year, etc. So many reasons. But this is the thing 2025, not financial advice, do your own research. When the euphoria kicks in, we're also going to get not just a euphoria from the retailers like yourself and myself, we're going to get euphoria from some small sized institutions companies, lots of money from countries, perhaps people that didn't participate in the previous bull run because back then Bitcoin didn't have the clout that it has today amongst the elites. Now you have BlackRock buying Bitcoin, you have countries buying Bitcoin. MicroStrategy has proven over the bear market that just buying and accumulating Bitcoin is going to make their company one of the most valuable the world has ever seen. And companies are watching this as an example. Fund managers around the world have seen this and now they're going to, or they're probably working on their own strategy as we speak. But unfortunately, time is running out for everyone. Time is running out for institutions. Time is running out for retail. 
And what's going to happen is when the euphoria kicks in, people are going to see the God candles. And when they see the God candles, your mom's going to call you, your grandma is going to call you, <laughs> if she's still here. You know, people, random people are going to stop you in the street and ask you about Bitcoin. And when this happens, people are going to start selling their cars, selling their homes, remortgaging their property, just so they can buy Bitcoin. Because people love to buy when the price is mooning. People hate to buy when the price is low. People could have bought at the beginning of last year and saved thousands and thousands of dollars uh, on their entry price. And of course, be massively up right now, right? A lot of people that chose to buy luxury items in the beginning of 2023, for instance, you bought a new car that you didn't need, you bought some Armani stuff or whatever. If you just put that money into Bitcoin, you'd have seen a 5.6, maybe a 7x. If you'd gone into Solana, you'd have seen a 15x, who knows, right? From all time uh, or, or the bear market lows, right? When it went underneath $10, imagine. $10 to over $200 now, that's a 20x. Imagine putting all your money in Solana when it hit that $10 mark. And now, you know, you're 20x up, that's crazy. Now, if you missed all of that, there's one token left. Well, there are many tokens left. A lot of them are meme coins and AI tokens that are high risk. But there's one low risk coin that's left that can still give you that 10, 20x. The upside is incredible and that's XRP. Again, remember I'm just a YouTuber with a cup of coffee on a Saturday. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not a, you know, I'm not a fortune teller. I can't tell you what's gonna happen with the price. But I personally believe, and I, I believe that the fundamental support, when I say that buying XRP is basically like time travel, and I haven't bought any in the last week because the price has been significantly higher than my dollar cost average. But if we do see that dip that I still think is coming, I think there's one analyst that also believes that, that's quite popular, name escapes me now. But I think we're still gonna see some kind of semi, I call it a gray swan event, not a total black swan event that's going to spook a bunch of people. And I think that the whales are waiting for this opportunity to liquidate all the massive longs in the system. We're going to see a scam wick all the way down to the low 50s. Who knows, maybe even the high 40s, man. And when that happens, XRP is going to take a dip. Every token is going to take a dip. And I am going to back the truck up and basically grab my final batch before we go to the moon. If we if that doesn't happen and we go to the moon, I'm already locked and loaded. I'm fully packed anyway, ready to go to the moon. But if we get that one more opportunity, boy, am I going to take advantage of it. My dry powder is there. I'm resisting fumaring in now. I know a lot of people have burnt out their dry powder because they think we're now just going up and this is the lowest it's going to be for the next year and a half or whatever. However, I have a little bit of experience from the last bull run, and I know that this is what usually happens. Everyone is so emotional. Everyone thinks, oh, we're going to the moon now. This is it. And then, boom, you know, a lot of people lose money if they've gone long. But, you know, if your dollar cost average in any way, it doesn't really matter. All you have to do is huddle through the dip and then back up again. It's going to be a very, very quick V-shaped recovery anyway. It's not going to be like, you know, the bear market or something like that. Why? because we have the institutions that are also waiting for this opportunity with even more dry powder. I mean, like, can you imagine how much dry powder BlackRock has to just soak up any dip? But they would let the dip happen so that they can soak it up as well. They're not going to stop the dip, right? But they're going to let it happen. The, whale, the whales are going to take advantage. The exchanges are going to play along. They're going to liquidate all this 100x plays that we have on the system and just wash everything out so that we can do a proper skyrocketing pump to the moon. Not financial advice as usual. Do your own research and I will see you in the next video. Peace.